this video i will try to present the methodology adopted for the construction of the slave joint this slave joint which is presented here or common in the construction industry we have two slaves jointed together or the same construction at the same time but are expected to be provided at that place so for the construction of the joints the following steps are followed first of all form work are erected for the slabs then steel reinforcement are laid in their respective position for structural requirement a water bar are then laid to the respective position and concrete or poured up to 28 days the gi sheet or any other waterproofing sheet or install with the inverted portion to stop the water from infiltrating through the joints to the under floors so let's go to the portion uh, to understand the methodology uh, with animation let's go to the next point and uh, first of all on the side we have to erect a former for the slab we have to erect for a former for the slabs in all sides this is the uncontinued side i'm sorry this is the continuous side and this is the bottom side this is the top side so after placing the formwork a steel reinforcement or erected for the purpose of structural requirement i have shown the formwork i am going to show this is the formwork so uh, formwork and steel fixing are done at the first stage then the upper the upper steel for the construction uh, joints or expansion joints are the laid down to the uh, according to the drawings then concrete or uh, placed sorry the water bar or placed in your position then concrete and uh, concrete in the bottom portion of the slab and if the construction uh, the inverted portion of the joints are placed up to date of the concrete or is in the 28 day strength or in it so up to 28 days you have to install a gi sheet gi sheet or install in to cover this portion for the purpose of stopping the water to infiltrate through this joint to the bottom portion and this same thing it's same for the same purpose the water bar are provided for the uh, safety purpose this is also provided because uh, the water can uh, accumulate here and uh, uh percolate to the concrete and it may cause some shrinkage and uh, other types of problem in the concrete so if i place the sheet i have to fix it through the um, what through the raw plugs i have to fix it through the raw plugs and to the uh, the slab so for the fixing of this sheet you have to smooth the the surface and this surface i am highlighting it you have to smooth this surface and this surface and then insert a raw plugs to fix the sheet after that i put this up until this it is okay but for the safety and the life of this giant 
you have to grow along this portion overall across the length this portion and this portion you have to grow it for the life of the giant so this is all a very simple methodology adopted in the construction industry so what is roll plug roll plug is a simple screw here we use a general common light and the water bar or here and for the so this is the water bar this is the GI sheets color or link to the text this is the um, roll plug which is linked to the text also so water bar this is the slab uh, down uh, bottom reinforcement this is slab top reinforcement this is the giant reinforcement it should be linked to the upper bar so this is a very simple methodology if you have any query let me know in the comment section below thank you